And happy Big Sky Montana beer to you. Welcome to Brews with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? All right. All right. All right. John Mayer is here, here with me. You know, he lived the Montana life for a little bit. He's coming along. He's coming along. All right. I'm sure McConaughey would, would, would agree too. All right. Um, yeah. Got uh, a recommendation from uh, my buddy Jason. This one's dedicated to you, Jason. Biggie ups. Sure, you're gonna watch this. Get a big, you know, get a moose roll and join me. See if you think uh, you you think the same things as me. Anyway, uh, secondary. Welcome back to Bruce with Beck again. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? Uh, all right. Big Sky Brewing Company is the beer I've got in front of me. Got it from Handy Market in Burbank. They happen to have a nice six pack for ten ninety nine uh, a six. So not too bad. Uh, glad I got it. Uh, big Sky Brewing out of uh, actually. Missoula, Montana, which uh, interestingly enough is three and a half hours away from Big Sky, Montana, just so you know, but this is Big Sky Brewing. Uh, I don't know how that works, but Moose Drool Brown Ale, uh, very popular, 125,000, almost 126,000 people have had it, giving it 3.6 out of 5 on Untapped. Um, um, yeah. I can't remember if I've ever had this before, so Jason, we'll see what, what, what I think. Boom. All right. 5.1. Not too huge on the Richter. Tap in. Tap it in, Brett. All right. Um, it says, it's chocolate brown in color with creamy texture, a malty beer with just enough presence to keep it from being too sweet. The aroma mostly comes from the malt uh, with a hint of spice added by the hops. Moostrel is brewed with pale... Caramel, chocolate, and whole black malts. Kent Golding's Liberty and Willamette hops. It has an original gravity of 13 degrees plato or plato, whatever. And it's 4.2 alcohol by weight, 5.3 by volume, but yet still. What is it? Oh, okay, on the can, it's 5% on the Richter. Get it right, get it tight. Come on now, Moose Rule, Montana. Listen to some John Mayer uh, Montana albums, uh, Born and Raised. Go go, go check Born and Raised. You'll love it. Anyway, got some uh, nice uh, bluegrass in the back, Montana themed. Uh, so let's go. Uh, that's about all I got. Hopefully your day is going well. Before I get to it, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. That way we can sit down with cold drinks, especially some moose roll. Anytime you want, all right, all right, all right, my Montana style. Please like and subscribe, thanks so much, McConaughey style, all right. All right. Big yips. Um, boom, right there. All right, let's get a sniff. Uh, Jason, let's see what you got. You recommended this to me, bet. Better be good. If it's not A+, plus, you're out of the family. Something like that. All right. Uh, let's, get a, let's get a sniff. Roasted caramel. Roasted caramel multi. Yeah. Big caramel. Okay. Yeah, a little chocolate. Okay. Like it. No words, just emotions. Like and subscribe, Biggie Ups to Mon Big Sky Montana. I like it again. More. I, sh I wish I could play Born and Raised by John Mayer, but I don't want to get the uh, copyright infringements. All right, let's r let's roll. Drink a Montana beer. Let's go. Malty. Perfect. Creamy, subtle chocolate caramel. Big on the more the caramel. Creamy caramel. Side. Pour myself a nice uh, double dutch, you betcha. And no, this is not, uh, you know, the actual, actual double dutch with uh, jump ropes. Really nice brown ale. Uh, smooth. There you go. Let me know in the comments if you've had this. Really nice, nutty, nutty caramel, malt. Here's the you, John Mayer. Uh, 
forget what the other one album he put out was called. Um, I'll have to look at it here in a second. But creamy, nutty, caramel malt. Smooth. Um, say the mouthfeel is... I'm going to say 30 out of 100. Uh, 35 maybe, approaching medium mouthfeel. Maybe even 40. I don't know. I mean, again, i got to bump that up a little bit more. I'm going to say 40 out of 100. Got a nice multi creamy thing going to it. Okay. So, yeah. Approaching medium mouthfeel. Uh, feels like... Good day to you. I would have thought it was more like six, six and a half, maybe six. So it feels bigger than 5% on the Richter. Um, all right. Like I said, really, I, I like this. I like this. This reminds me of something I would love to have with a burger. Uh, by the way, you're not, you, you don't even know what I'm doing tonight. Literally finally doing i'm gonna do some veal uh not that i i don't really do veal that much anymore uh because again kind of a big animal lover but i was challenged multiple years ago by a certain someone uh colleague that to have pan seared veal veal chop finally gonna do it here's to you there uh tm you're gonna finally drink that north park darn it tin for a tin all right uh, let me see what other people think of it. Again, there's plenty, there's going to be plenty of people. It's already one, uh, I can see French fries in the beer. I mean, this, this would go great with a burger and fries. I'm telling you that right now. I can already, yeah, that looks great. Hold on one sec. All right. What's that? Get the veal chop ready. Maybe put some kind of rub on it. I'm not even sure. I'm not a cook. Figure it out. All right. Cheers to you, Irish whiskey, palate cleanser. Tullamore Dew. Thanks, Mike. Mike G. No specifics on here. Boom. Anonymity. It's always great. <laughs> all right. What up, Jason? Uh, all right. So let's uh, let's get let's get this moose rule poured out all the way. You know. Going all the way with this one. Look at that. Look at that. Dang. That's how a beer should look. Just dominating the day. Dominating. What does that say? We make water fun. Like that, like that out, out outlook on life. That's that. <laughs> Maybe I'll borrow that uh, big sky brewing. We make water fun. And moose is fun. Huffa Musa. Huffa Musa. Right? Right, Elway? Right, Joker? All right. Big ups. Wife just tasted this. Liked it. Nice Montana beer. Um, anyhow, how are you doing on your beer? Okay. One person, I figured I'd uh, highlight this one, uh, Beer Advocate, said dark brown, just slightly transparent, translucent, uh, tapers into amber color at the edges, capped uh, with creamy beige head, excellent retention and sticky lacing, aroma of sticky, sweet, caramelized sugars, toffee, caramel, milk, chocolate, uh, toasted hazelnuts, pumpernickel, bread, caramel and toffee hit up front. Peanut brittle and milk chocolate, toasted hazelnuts and peanuts, and pumpernickel bread. Apparently, I gotta check out pumpernickel bread. Does this taste like pumpernickel bread? Wouldn't know because I don't taste pumpernickel bread, but I get a little bit of the hops. By the way, Ken Golding hops, which is uh, featured in it, which are apparently English hops. Uh, one of the long, longest uh, lineages as they were first introduced in 1790. Uh, bred from a wild um, variety and went on to define the noble hop characteristics of soft, 
gentle aromas of spice and citrus. Definitely a little spicy. Not really. It's really about the, the malt, caramel. I could see, I don't know about hazelnut, just nut. Don't look into that too much. Um, <laughs> anywho, anywho, getting nuts here. Getting, I, as I said, getting nuts. <laughs> I'm losing it, literally losing it. Uh, it's it's a great day. Cheers to you. Okay. All I know. Caramel, nut, chocolate, su subtle chocolate, malt, solid beer. I do like this. Now, again, I don't know if it's going to get solid on here. We'll see. In fact, I forgot to erase the last of the circlings off here, so mind me. Um, people out wherever, Montana, whatever, let me know what you think of this. Biggie ups. Really drinkable, nutty caramel chocolate. <laughs> like it. I would have, and again, well, this would go great with a burger. It's from Stella down to Hell No. Sorry, repetitiveness, but uh, you're a beer drinker, you know. What it is. Like and subscribe. Um, hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, nothing like amazing, but absolutely like would definitely say, hey, have this with a, you know, bacon cheeseburger. You'll love it. That's decent. Because it almost has a lot of, like, like you would mix almost like with caramelized onions. Like, it's nice. I see what you're doing, Jason. I see what you're saying. I'm picking up what you what you have uh, laid, that, laid out. Um. Pour it all in there. Let's get the last toast. Avocado, should I say, because I'm healthy. Now toast. All right. Here's to that. Oh, wait. Hold on. The John Mayer album. Uh, Born and Raised. I forget the other one. Hold on. All right. Uh, the John Mayer secondary album is called, actually called, you know, dedicated to Montana, Paradise Valley. Uh, Paradise Valley is very close to Big Sky. Uh, and three three and a half yeah paradise valley is big sky missoula is still three and a half hours away if anyone wants to explain on here what the, why big sky brewing is in missoula let me know uh because paradise valley and big sky are way far away but by the way the john mayer song i would recommend off that album big fan dear marie dear marie tell me up yeah anyway all right here you go, 92. Jason, I'm really glad you made me drink this. Uh, quite quite a nice beer. Um, I'm going to have to do Newcastle soon enough. That, that one is coming up. By the way, have a variety, uh, or at least a couple. I'm still trying to find Colt 45 just for these like lower-end beers, um, just to review them. I've got Mickey's and... Bush beer coming up. So, boom to that. Uh, 92. Moose drool. Boom. Hopefully you are enjoying your day. Let me know what you think of it. It's a great, it's a really nice beer. Nothing amazing, but really nice. Have it with a bacon, bacon cheeseburger and fries and drink this. All right. Good talk. Enjoy your day. Enjoy some John Mayer. Go to Crappensburg State, the Dan Patrick Show, support CU, Nike Golf, let's just do all of it, Elway, Joker, and we'll see you out there. Like and subscribe, peace to your mother.